Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we're going to be talking about interesting topic of using Tor, but not the Tor in a typical way. Like typically people use Tor in a browser because it's convenient. You can just install Tor browser, connect it to Tor, Tor circuit and basically use it, right? But today we're going to be using it in uh, just more like native way. Today we're going to be installing it on a Linux instance. In my case, I'm going to be using the UTM virtual machine to run this stuff on my M1 Mac. Why I'm doing this in the virtual machine? It's because I want to just use it in the isolated environment. I want to specifically use this virtual machine for that. I don't want to mess up my Mac or change something on my Mac for the tour because I honestly don't want to. Virtual machine is a really, really good case where you can use it and uh, it just it's going to be isolated just there. So first thing I did, I basically installed the UTM virtual machine on my M1 Mac. Then I installed the Debian XFC version. Here it is right here for ARM64. It's actually really, really fast. It's running really fast on my machine. But the only problem with this is that since it's compiled for ARM, I was not even able to run some stuff. For example, Electrum Wallet, I was not able to run it because first of all, when I try to install it there the python 3 package was like latest package was not available for the arm for some reason and electrum didn't run then i tried to use app image kind of thing to basically be able to run it on my uh, utm instance and again it didn't work so i was confused like okay it doesn't work so just a reminder that uh, arm 64 linux instances are not that handy in some cases but for specific use cases for example running the um, tor circuit and using your applications in this isolated environment it's really really good so just a reminder arm 64 version of debian is not the same as a typical image that you got used to it on your x86 machine so keep in mind and let's go ahead and uh, try to run tor circuit so first thing we need to do is we need to open the terminal and in the terminal of course we're going to just execute some commands first thing we need to install the tor itself sudo apt install tor how about that we type the root password. We just gonna install everything right here. Okay, it installed. The next step is gonna be installing this one, apt install Mac changer. This utility is actually used to be able to uh, change your Mac address, as far as I understand. So some people do not like to have their real uh, Mac address exposed to the whole internet. That's why Tor allows to kind of hide it. Okay, so I need to run it as a root, of course. Yes, install it. Let's see. It might take some time, guys. <laughs> okay, please specify which changes should set up automatically. Change Mac automatically or not? How about that? How about yes? We're gonna change it automatically each time. And then we need to do this. We need to install Git stuff, like all the Git modules. Git all. Oh my gosh, 300 megabytes. Yeah, it's gonna take some time, I guess, to download all this stuff. All right, so it was downloaded. It's actually quite fast. Now, the next thing we need to do, we need to clone this repository. And I know it was prepared by some specific team, like Arch team, which contains the stuff we need for the Tor stuff. I think it's a Tor control module. Basically, this module controls enabling and disabled Tor uh, circuit stuff, like running it and stopping it. So then we need to go to this directory, move the content of service and completion folders. Okay, how about this? We're gonna move this service right here. Okay. And then we need to move the bash completion stuff. So basically it looks like to be able to use the con uh, Tor control command and that's it. Okay, it worked. Now we need to edit some commands. Those two commands. And then we're going, going to move the script that was edited. That's it. And then remove the Tor control script from original folder. Well, just messing up with some folders, I guess. So we just need to remove it. Done. Okay. And then if we want to start the Tor, we just run this command right here. Well, it's actually to stop. To start, we need to type it like this. All right. All traffic is being rejected through Tor. Nice. All right, guys. So I just want to confirm that stuff is actually running through Tor. Since it says all traffic is being rejected through Tor, I'm currently in Hungary. So if I press that, it's going to show me some different location, I hope. My IP location. And it says this address right here, which is probably not the real address. 
yeah Amsterdam so I'm not actually in Amsterdam so it's actually showing something else and not my actual IP address and that's how we prove that stuff actually works we are able to access the internet it's all running through Tor all right guys so this is how it works you can run Tor instance right in your uh, virtual machine right on your Linux guest or host actually you can run it on your Linux directly without any uh, virtual machines and anything like, like that so it's quite useful quite handy and you can use it for example for your crypto stuff uh, all this uh, other stuff that you want to stay anonymous of course I'm talking about legal and good stuff I'm not talking about destructive stuff guys do not do that so this is really useful this is good and and um, thank you guys for watching and see you soon.